Well, hello, crew, and welcome back to Space Station 13. Tonight, we're on Space Center 11. And probably going to be like a chef or barman or something. If I had to guess. Which I really don't. Because I set my preferences, that's why. And indeed, we are the chef. Zayden Anderson's the barman. I am not a traitor. I have not been a traitor in so long at this point. I might, this entire playlist uh, for this station might not have a single traitor video. I'm just saying, it could happen. So, what do I want to make today? We'll see if we can get botany growing stuff. It's possible that we might be able to get them to grow us uh, some things, but who knows. There have been a lot of new changes to Quartermaster recently. I will be playing Quartermaster soon. I don't understand all of the changes yet, but that makes the recording sessions even more fun. Nav sat three beacon at your own risk. It was already kind of dangerous the last time I went there. So I can't imagine how much more dangerous it could be. There's a storm coming. Hard winter ahead. Wonder what that means. Probably means Damien Garnius is gonna try to kill us all. If I had to guess. So, what do we want to make? I could start off with cakes, but, uh... Kind of tired of cakes. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember this. Flour. Meatball. Meatball. And, um... I guess I will make a cake. But it's gonna be a special one. Put that in there. And I'm not going to poison it. I don't poison all of my cakes. Just a lot of them. Six high, maybe? The Fellowship of the Crown. I'm trying to see what's going on. I'm trying... I getting a lot better at following chat once more, but I don't understand what the hell they're talking about. We must gather a group of brave people to destroy the crown. Good luck. So Swedish meatballs have been produced. That is step one. Next up, we need a delicious cake. We clean the sugar of any impurities. I wonder what would go good as a topping with Swedish meatball cake. I, I can't make like marinara or anything like that. Any types of fancy Alfredo sauces. Okay. I, I have to put icing on the cake. It's mandatory. So... I almost want to say bourbon would be good. Meatballs and... Hell, I'll just do tomato juice. We'll add some paste to it back here and thicken it up. Some spices, etc. has joined the chaos as a miner. So we have Yellbot. Oh, did I fuck that up? I did. I fuck everything up sometimes. Anyways, before you do that, we have to go back and get uh, more tomato juice. Mix them like that. 
I'm still trying to figure out what the hell is going on over there. <sighs> if they're talking about using the teleporter, because I would go on an expedition. I'd give up the life of a chef in a heartbeat. Anyone wants to be the crown bearer. Apparently the AI wants to. That's not a bad looking cake. Kinda creepy. Switch this down. I need I one thing I want to find out is if you can make black cakes or or with black icing. I know that some of the drinks you can make will turn out that color. But so far I haven't man managed to transfer it to the cakes themselves. And there we go. We'll alert the crew. Swedish meatball cake in the bar. Come and get it. If only I had like a little triangle or cowbell that I could ring in here to get people to show up. Could make Swedish meatball pizza possibly. I'd have to look up the recipe, unfortunately. Someone turn up the heat. This damn winter approaching. I wonder if the station really is about to get into a deep freeze. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Eat some of my cake, sir. Come back. You can't force people to eat your cake, unfortunately. Even though I know they'd like it if they just tried it. We've got... Who are you? Ezekiel Graymore. He's got a lost look in his eyes as he stumbles around with that briefcase of his. The detective, Kaylee Valentine. Running around without thermals, which is always a great sign for a detective. It inspires confidence to know that they are so sure of themselves that they don't even need them. Put some gloves on, but if no one's going to eat the cake, I'm not cooking anything else. I just like wasting food by cooking it when people aren't hungry. But... We'll have some cake. And suddenly we feel Swedish. Unfortunately it tastes horrible. I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe I didn't cook it long enough after the fact? Coming for you later, Albert. I'll probably pull him back there just to get at that delicious, tasty meat. Let's see, we've got Unknown, Olaf, the Pink Beard. Apparently, and the AI is saying that it's seeing snow in the hallways now. Holy crap. There is snow in the hallways. And it's cold. Great. We're gonna break into this bathroom here. 
Primarily because I'm curious why it's boarded up. So we'll just hack it to shit with this knife. And the snow is spreading. Great. <laughs> I don't have maintenance access either, so... Oh, is Granny the one boarding things up? Maybe I should make, like, hot chocolate. I need to make something to warm people up. Oh, Albert. Come with me. And I fall over from food poisoning. Perfect timing. Come back with my monkey! You bastard. I guess Albert gets to live another day. Is he trying to take him? Jonathan Buttersworth, huh? Like, I'll push him onto the conveyor belt. No way in hell are you getting my monkey. I'd actually, I'd have to go to the quartermasters and order another one or something. And how did I know he was going to chase me? You bastard. <laughs> Damn it, Albert. <sighs> Fighting over a monkey that he pretty much just wants to send to space, whatever. I don't need the meat that bad. Oh no. Somebody say something about wind dingoes? Monsters have been sighted in the blizzard. Please be careful. Hungry? Cold? Tired? Yep. Send out a little advertisement over the headset there. Once people start getting ran down, they'll come here for food. And I need to have something better than shitty cake that makes me sick. Um, I can't remember all the recipes that I used to know. Let's see. I know how to make tacos. That's easy enough. Pizza I, is a little bit harder. Doubly so because I haven't been sent anything by botany. If I had a monkey, I could have made monkey burgers. I Wait, I do have monkeys. I have value chimps, duh. Not as good as getting a space-trained monkey like Albert. I mean, these things are basically boneless forms of flesh that just pop out of the machine. It's disgusting. But it will have to do. Hello, barman. Brain dead bastard. Come on, Adele. And I think what we'll make is just some monkey cheeseburgers. That's another fairly popular menu item. Kill the Wendingos. So there's Wendingos down there. Great. I'm not heading down there. Think I'm crazy? Let's see. Put the meat in there. I don't know if you guys have heard the legends of Wendingos, but they're basically like a Yeti, a space Yeti on steroids. So do I need dough or is it flour? Flour, meat, and cheese? So we're gonna find out. And it on five high. I can't remember if this is right or not. 
kill them like you kill security. People should be nicer to security. They work hard at their job most of the time, right? Come on. Okay, that's a monkey steak. It's gotta be dough, meat, and cheese. Okay. Try this again. I'm mostly concerned about running out of cheese on this. It's easy enough to make more, but I'd rather not have to go t to worry about it. Okay, meat. Grab the cheese. I'm sitting here shaking and shitting my pants with food poisoning. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Remy. That damn rat, I swear. I, I could have swore that it was flour that made hamburgers, though. If this doesn't work, then it's... Maybe I need to cook it on low? Monkey meat, cheese, dough. It doesn't matter what order you put it in. Tyrone Saxophone Jones goes to... Kill some Wendingos. Purely revenge-driven. There we go. Okay, so it is dough. Using flour is just a good way to waste your uh, precious resources. And that's all I'm going to cook for now. <laughs> Until somebody comes here and eats something. I think they're all busy down there getting their faces ripped off. Hey, somebody shows up. Dave Windows. Hello. Of course they gave you an accent. <laughs> he grabs the monkey steak. Chows down. I wish you would have taken the burger. The QM area is now frozen. And he did take the burger cool. You want to share the burger? Okay. I'll take a bite. It's like Russian roulette, but with the burger. Why do you not like being Norwegian? The whole world would love to be Norwegian. Get out, sir. <laughs> you are not welcome here with that attitude. Take the accent with you. called the shuttle yet? No. The cold is spreading west. It'll wrap around up this way eventually. Oh great. The first step to making more cheese. If I needed it, which I don't. Silly crow lobs, PDA. If you want to be really thorough, you can check every PDA and see what they've got. Sometimes you'll find neat stuff on them. Oh, 
don't have a crowbar either, do I? Nope. The chef is really at the mercy of the station with no access. The warmth of the engine is keeping the cold at bay in that area. However, as it gets colder, the engine will have to get hotter to keep it away. That's interesting. What if... Yeah, hang on. I'm gonna buy some hot chocolate or coffee here. Let's see, yeah. Just because I I it's my strong personal belief that one of these things has to warm you up. I know that coffee gives you speed, chocolate probably gives you a speed boost too. But when I'm cold in the winter, that's what I do. A cup of hot chocolate or something. I could buy out this vending machine five times over, it looks like. And I'll leave my ID in there, just in case anybody comes through in an emergency. Vaulting open doors would be very hazardous to your health, crew. Oh, goody, EVA has already been completely looted. Please tell me there's a suit. No, there's not. Damn it. A space helmet won't do me any good. Crowbar probably will. At some point. If the cold starts spreading here, we should retract the air bridge. They've got heaters here to keep the cold away. A firefighting grenade. I don't know if this is actually helping anything. I'm just gonna push it right up there. So we've got the captain armed and dangerous, Waluigi Wario. Sleep it off, Dave. If you ever get food poisoning, just lay down and sleep it off. However, you have to find a bed for that. Which, if I could get into there, there's a bed. You can't sleep on couches or anything, I don't think. You can dance with the glow stick. That's interesting. Yellow snow almost. <laughs> I had to do it. So it's going to keep spreading this way, apparently. We've got Laporazine pills. I'm going to charge in here that that's open. Oh, goody. I need to switch my intent to help. I still have to make a break for this bed and try to rest in it. So I think to sleep, you lay down on the bed. And sleep in. We used to have a little button that would just put you to sleep anywhere when you clicked on it, but now you gotta, you gotta role play in a bed. 
I think unless you're drunk and then you might be able to just pass out anywhere. Oh cool, and the chaplain has an artistic toolbox. So we've got a cold winter setting in to the south. And a mass murdering cultist with a god and a toolbox that hungers. And the snow is right outside my door. Maybe it'll be nice enough to stay out of the room until I wake up. Whenever you get over food poisoning, it'll tell you. It'll say, you feel better. Does it, has it already said that? It might have. No, I'm groaning there still. I'm only going to give it another minute or two here. And then we're going to wake up and get the hell out of here. Because I could wake up surrounded by monsters. Who knows? There's the captain standing in the snow. And it has spread even further down the hallway. I was hoping there would be some explosions going on. Okay. It's time to get up. I don't know what the hell that scream was, but holy shit. Please don't be eating and killing me. Oh, it is. Fuck. I knew I was going to push it far too long and end up getting myself killed or in trouble. Come on, wake up. We're still slowly recovering. <sighs> no, I don't want to die this way. Can I, can I strap this thing down to the bed? can't pull it or anything. Okay. I guess I have to fight back or something here. I have to do something. We stab it with the knife. Old Harner, get your ass in here and help me. <sighs> I can't push him at all. Solid brick wall. Quit crying. Just die. Okay. I gotta get out of here. Hopefully the AI will see my request and get this door open because I am going to die. I'm severely injured. If my health drops anymore, I'm gonna have to like run back here and try to heal. You know what? Forget it. I don't know what the AI has going on, but. Oh, goody. Finally, somebody came to get me. I want these medical supplies, though. There's no reason to leave them down here in the cold. Yeah, thanks for watching, Harner. You jerk. So 
what is this? A little resting point. God damn it. I hate being pushed around. <laughs> Fuck. Sometimes it can be so difficult to do things. And yeah, we're going to set up a little way station here, I think. This is where the ice has stopped, so... Let's see. I need he I need to heal. I need to make some tricord. Oh, and I didn't even see what type of locker that is. Fucking anesthetic locker. Completely worthless to me. I sh shouldn't have even wasted my time grabbing it. Half tempted just to kill myself and end this nightmare. I'm on my way slowly. I have to limp there because of fucking Wendingo took a bite out of my leg. And Rubrichter asks asks for 185,000 credits. Finally, the shuttle's been called too. Question is, will anyone be able to make it through the blizzard in order to make it to the shuttle? And a bunch of crybabies say to recall the shuttle. Yeah, fight your way to it or something. That's how. It's not just going to go away because we sit here and hide. Oh, goody. We're going to have shuttle tug of war going on I agree with Dr. Cat Nelson Cat's Nelson Cool. They brought a Wendingo corpse to try and uh, butcher for food, I think. You can butcher a lot of different dead uh, animals, I think, by using a knife on them. Can you grab it? Deep fry it, maybe? Damn. I've heard when dingo meat is amazing when prepared correctly. I've never gotten the opportunity to cook it. Got some chili peppers for the blizzard. It's perfect. Can this heal me? I think my injuries are too severe to be healed by food. Yeah. However, that speed boost from the sugar is nice. So, let's... Before I go out, I need to get another trusty weapon. Considering the fact I gave my uh, knife away to Vladimir. Knife makes a pretty decent weapon, as you can see. It's not as good as some other things on the station, but it'll do the job.
And I think somebody did give Rube all those credits. Because now the station is broke. We have no budget to spend on personnel anymore. What do we have here? A staff assistant? Well... Actually, staff assistant would be quite valuable to me, now that I think about it. It would give me maintenance tunnel access, which is just something I don't have. And since we're all hopped up on sugar, holy crap. Okay, what's my backpack filled with? A bunch of bullshit, that's right. We're gonna down one of these. The Happy Elf Hot Chocolate warms our very soul as we sip away on it. That's good enough. We gotta get through here. See, the captain's in there. Ice walls. Deep abyss. I'm going for it. As far as we can press, I'm going. Okay, apparently we are not going to get very far. We fall into the deep abyss and knock ourselves out. Who knows where we landed. Oh god, there's ice spiders down here. No! It's right there. And it killed me, son of a bitch. I did... Did I manage to kill it? No. I was gonna say, if I did kill it, I might be able to recover from it, but it's gonna sit there and just nibble on my toes until... I really am dead, not just critical. I'm not going to succumb. Not yet. It's possible somebody else could fall down here with me. Maybe save me. Gotta have hope down here in the abyss. It can't take much longer. Every time you hear that little dink sound, that's the son of a bitch biting on me. I think we're still alone. It's possible that wherever we fell, there's no way for anyone else to ever connect back up to us. Come on. All I have to do is 
not do that. Damn it. Okay. So this is where we fell. I was probably going to be dead anyways. I don't think I can move around. Baby ice spider. There's a security camera. Yeah, there's so many baby ice spiders. A full grown ice spider. Strange. Yep, trying to move around. Teleport you out. So wherever we fell was basically a death trap. I shouldn't have charged ahead so foolishly. There's Jack Nicholas, dead. Looks like he got cornered at escape. Possibly took his own life. Isaiah Murray peers out of the morgue room into the snow-covered hallway. He doesn't see the ice spider down the hallway. And the AI is taking a vote to have the shuttle called. And somebody's beat up pod. With plasma guns or something. Yeah, some of the pods have weapons, and you can buy weapons from some of the rare traders and merchants. And uh, they are quite powerful. And yay, the shuttle's been called. We'll see if somebody sends it back. So let's see, I ran through this door like an idiot and crashed into this. I could have survived. I didn't know what that was, though. Fun times. That's... I'd probably have been dead anyways, even though I don't see any monsters down here. Something probably would have got me. There's one on the loose. It disappears. Probably dissolving into the snow. Well, it said the shuttle was called, but I don't see the countdown timer. And they are burning a Wendigo to death. That is hilarious. Olaf just stands on the edge of the flames until they catch up to him. And he begins screaming in pain as the fire burns away his clothing. Easton is on fire. Fire's just so much fun, isn't it? For a second, I thought that was a Wendigo on a Segway. Not know they could do that, and it took me by surprise. The AI has been partially bombed, but shrugged it off. And the generator has went purple at 3.7 megawatts. 3.726, if you want to get specific. It makes a god awful fracas. Point three six. I can't tell if it's it's fluctuating, obviously. Three point seven. I think it's slowly dropping. It'll probably never get any higher than that. 3.726. Right now, there's not a whole lot of um, really interesting things you can do with having tons of power left over like that, but I think they're talking about 
adding things to do. There's a husk. So there is a changeling lurking about somewhere. The quartermasters are all suited up in emergency suits. And the shuttle has been called, but it's not going to show up. I think the shuttle is broken. Another reason you don't fucking play shuttle ping pong. Even just once or twice can screw the whole thing up. God damn it, the shuttle broke. Everybody panic. They got Wendingos outside of QM. The Wendingos are scary, for sure, but those ice spiders are even more terrifying. Another lonely Wendingo wanders the hallway as Ol' Harner looks on. He does not care about anything but himself today. And I guess that's round, folks, restarting the world. <laughs> so no one survives this round. Nano Tracen has erased all existence of this station's existence. The crew was expendable. Their lives forfeit. Their outcomes forever unknown. <laughs>